tell my friends Our master says, we do not know how to think. To keep the mind free all the time, at every moment. Never think what we want. Never think what we like or dislike. Always think what is right and good and your mind will be free. If you start thinking what is right and good, if you start thinking what is right and good, within three days, if you do mm -hmm. it 24 by 7, I'm repeating it again. Think we do not know how to think. Here comes Brandy. We do not know how to think. I know your mind may say, oh, you, you are blaming me. I am very intelligent. I have been thinking a lot. So our master says, how to think that we do not know. Never think what we want. Never think what we like or dislike. Think what is right. Even for three days, your mind will change. Mind will calm down. It will gain focus. You will have a discernment and discretion. People are joining late, so I will repeat it again. <laughs> that we never pay attention. Oh, I have been thinking, you know, huh? I will write a biography on Biden or Trump or Putin. That is what we waste our time. And then we claim we are very busy. Huh? Your honey said you something and your mind started thinking, getting upset. And after an hour, your honey returns and says, you know, I'm sorry, all your thought disappeared. You should have disappeared before. Are you getting it? <laughs> so our master says, always think what is right and good, and that we need to educate our mind. We do not know how to think. So when I'm aware, oh, I'm thinking what is right and good. No control, no infighting in the mind, no conflict, no confusion. I'm thinking what is right and good. One master says, we will be free from all the garbage of the mind in three days. Mind will naturally gain focus. Intellect will shine with the discernment and dispassion. Uh, you might be thinking it is very difficult, you know, dispassion, discernment. I gave you a couple of acronyms, 2L, CRP, uh, DD, 60. Yeah, all, everything enters into your mind naturally. That mind is ready for discovery to find the real self, my friend. That mind is ready for self-discovery. Otherwise, nothing. Ah, you will listen to it, but you will say, okay, your guy speaks well, but, but, and then your mind comes. It stops thinking what is right. You know, button if only comes. <laughs> think. This journey on Saturday is all about thinking in a right manner, in a good manner, so that this intellect discovers, it knows 
what is already reflecting in the intellect, and that is real self. So last time, I believe you all remember, root cause of our suffering, ignorance, is ignorance. Root cause of our suffering, not knowing the real self, is ignorance. And then we also understood this is known as Prakriti. And the Prakriti has three qualities, Satoguna, Rajoguna, and now we are entering into a little deeper, uh, not deeper journey. So we have to use that. So Prakriti, Avidya, ignorance has three qualities, Satoguna, Rajoguna, and Tamoguna. Satoguna pertains to the knowledge. Rajoguna pertains to the activity and Tamoguna pertains to all laziness, craziness and opposing, entering into unnecessary and wanted conflict. So do not blame yourself, but blame Tamoguna if you are entering into any kind of a conflict. Do you have any conflict against me? <laughs> Thank you very much. Keep that conflict with you. <laughs> you see, that is the that is what I started with. That I should think. I do not know how to think. And masters teaches us how to think what is right and good. Focus on that. Forget about what you want. Forget about what you like. And you see that your mind will be free. So coming back. So what is this? This is Satoguna. Satoguna means that now I am focused on the knowledge and also doing some activity. So effect of, we know the effect of these three gunas. You cannot see directly. You cannot know directly these three gunas. Am I in Satoguna? <laughs> or in Tamoguna? <laughs> So then we understood very important part, the real self. Real self is there like a mirror. Satoguna reflects. That is known as God. We will talk later. Satoguna and real self is again. It reflects the activity. Rajoguna. I, I become. I become Girish. You become Brani. You become David. Jerry and Ashok. Individual consciousness. Real self again. And reflects the Tamoguna. It is all the world outside. We know the world is inert. It is material world. Do you see that? See that? I know the effect of these three gunas. So it means real self is only one. Reflection makes difference. Something reflects, I see. Very early joiner, yeah, good. So, so <laughs> very good. So now question comes, our journey is, goal of the journey is to know the real self. To know the real self. And in this journey, the master has pointed that I have covered in a couple of sessions that we are the source of love. Am I right? Why? Because we love ourselves the most. Do you love yourself the most? Can you ignore it? We are going deeper. Do you love yourself the most? Yes. That is why I want to get rid of the stress and anxiety and duality and a conflict. Huh? That's why I divorce, you know. I blame others. That's a different thing. Huh? Do you love yourself the most? No? 
Now tell me one thing. You love yourself without knowing yourself or you have a little understanding. You know something. Oh. Or can I put a question? Do we love someone known or unknown? It's a matter of awareness. Do I love someone known or unknown? If it is unknown, I don't love. How can I love until uh, unless I know it? Say yes. So if you say yes, you know the real self. You have some idea about the real self. If you don't have that idea about the real self, that is the source of love. You should not love yourself the most. Am I right? I'm trying to ex open up the verse number 14 and 15 because from there, the journey becomes very serious. Huh? Only the seeker will understand. I'm repeating again. Do I love someone? Known or unknown. If it is unknown, I don't love. So I love myself the most. It means I know something deeper within me. So that is known also. That is unknown also. This is what is known as ignorance. I've been talking a lot about ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. Why I cry? No, everyone cries, Christina. Not <laughs> because I love myself. I'm frustrated. I don't get what I want. But still, that I love is unknown. So I am just sailing in between known and the unknown, and that is the problem. No, no, I don't understand. I did not understand. You know, when a guy has a cataract, he knows me. He's sitting in front of me. He says, I know you, but I don't see you. Are you getting it? <laughs> I don't see you, but I, I know I know you. I know the real self, but I don't see it. And that is the ignorance. That real self is present at every moment. Have you seen? So when you are alone, start thinking like this. And when you start thinking like this, the intellect will start reflecting. And it happens. It happens at every time, you know. Dad, you didn't listen to me. So you became a dad. Honey, you don't listen to me. You become honey. You are honey, you are father, you are son. But that you is only one. That you is only one. We go to the beach. Oh, we see the waves. We see the foam. We see the ocean. We see the storm. We lame. And this is the Atlantic Ocean. This is a uh, Pacific Ocean. But you cannot imagine wave, foam, ocean without water. Remove the water. Nothing remains. Remove the real self. Nothing remains. So my awareness, my awareness due to the impurity of the mind, due to the likes and dislikes, due to what I want from the world, 
forgets to pay attention to this real self, otherwise it is here and now. Tell me if it is not. <laughs> Take the same logic. Do you love yourself the most? Ask anyone. They will say yes. So what is that you that you love yourself the most? It means you have some, you, it is known, and still it is unknown. This is what we say, the ignorance. This is what we say, the misunderstanding. Now I can give you another example. Do you see the, do you see sometime the sun is clouded? By which light you see that sun is clouded? <laughs> Which light? Candlelight? <laughs> so how can you say that sun is clouded? Sun is known and your expression says it is unknown because it is clouded. What a beautiful way. The master, I'm just opening up the introductory part of this verse. Ah, so the problem is ignorance when removed, we are. So that is the real meditative state. <laughs> so you are living, speaking and acting in that state of consciousness. That is what the real self. Okay, you are talking about ignorance. The next question comes. Oh, we are editing one book with the Sam and Stephen. Stephen rightly said it is all about putting the reasoning, filtering out what is not required. I'm explaining what he said. He said it, it is ex logical, it's pure reasoning. Now we, we talk about blind faith, etc. Oh, it doesn't work here. So next question comes, when this ignorance entered into my life, let us explore. Yeah? Ignorance causes the suffering. So I must attack the ignorance. So, I was born in 1958. Since the day I was born, I am in ignorance. Am I right? Yes. Right? Say yes. <laughs> right? Since now, okay. I am in ignorance since the day I was born in 1958. What was the state in 1957? <laughs> what was the state in 1957? If I was not in ignorance, how can I enter into ignorance? It demands a very serious inquiry. It demands a tremendous focus. But if I had a knowledge, if I know everything, if I did not have an ignorance in 1957, how I, I, I can have an ignorance at the time of the birth? So we say this ignorance is beginning less. Beginning less does not mean that it is inf infinite. Infinity means no limitations. The moment you attack the ignorance, that beginning less destroys. You live in that knowledge of the real self. Do you have any question in between? Yeah. 
you know, we always talk, we will talk about this birth and how birth and rebirth, uh, what is the mystery of the rebirth and rebirth. Just understand that I, uh, I, Girish, has taken a new birth. So new birth means body and the mind. Previous birth, another body and the mind. Before that, another body and mind. What continued in different bodies in the mind? in different bodies in the mind, only one thing continues, that is real self. And that real self reflected the world. So I say, I am the world. I am honey, I'm father, I'm son, and I'm rich, I'm poor, I'm good and I'm bad. So that is why I started Pay attention that I resolve myself that I will think what is right and good. Stop thinking about what you want, what you like. What will happen? I will think right and good first and then see what I want. Your mind will remain free. Are you getting it? This master is exception. What I want, first, what is right and good. You, I can promise you that your mind will remain totally free. You need not to control it. Come back. I told you 1958, ignorance. 1957, what was the state? <laughs> Ignorance. <laughs> because if I, if there is a knowledge, the knowledge cannot be converted into ignorance. Did it happen that, uh, Stephen, you forgot your honey? You forget your house? It never happens. We are serious. Now, now, from today, journey is very serious. Serious in a sense that our mind should be focused 100%. And then there is no reason why we cannot reach to that. So one more point today that uh, ignorance is beginningless. So it means it was also present in 1957. But why it was present with that body in the mind? So the next question comes. Is body first or action first? Everyone is a great contemplator, but uh, everyone appreciates Stephen. So, who, which one is first, karma, action, or the body? I'm talking to you. My mind says, I will give another lesson on Saturday. So, it demands the continuity of the body. You see, simple. What you're going to do just after the meditation session. So it's, it, it shows the sense of continuity. But continuity means I am going to do after an hour this thing for which I need a body. So which one, a body is first or karma is first? Action is first or the body is first. There lies the secret of law of karma. I did a lot of actions, it accumulated a lot of impressions in my subtle body. And that subtle body gave rise to another body, which is known as the next birth. I carry all those impressions, including the ignorance. So at present, keep that mystery. Which one is first, egg or chicken? Body or the karma?
Do you still remember? Real self plus activity is individual consciousness. Now you see it. From there, the ignorance comes. Let us take one more example. Uh, well, I stop. I, in the middle, I sat. Uh, I am the source of love. The, I love the, myself the most. And still, it is known to me and unknown to me. What that means? What that means? You're watching a movie. Is screen present? Is the TV screen present all the time? When you are watching movie on a TV, television, soap opera. I don't know why they named soap plus opera, you know. So, on a TV screen, you are watching movie, huh? actors playing their role. We move into the different emotion. We do not see the screen all time, but it is known to me. But when I'm watching movie, it is not known to me. I, I forget. I'm driven by emotions. The actors. That TV screen, that real self is present there. <laughs> that is always present there. Do you see that? Screen seems hidden because characters play, act, plot is going on. We experience the screen all the time, but still we do not see it. Am I right? We see the screen, but we do not see it. Am I right? We see the screen, still we don't see it. What a crazy statement. But this is what happens in our day-to-day -day life. We are experiencing real self all the time and still we miss it. Can I see that? Real self is evident all the time. And still we miss. Why? Wrong notion. Ignorance. What you need to do? To see the TV screen while watching the movie. Do you need any practice? Do you need to clean the TV screen to see the TV? Think, think, think. So now this master says we have to think what is right and good. What is right and good? We say it is the all-pervading, eternal, imminent entity that, cont that shows its presence in the movement of the body, the mind, the sense organ, the breath, the intellect, and the ego, and the stress, and the crying, and the pleasure. It remains one. Yeah, let us take one more point. So you have to think again and again. You have to set. When you start thinking in this way, you will see you are already absorbed deeper within. And that absorption 
first time will indicate that you are in the state of meditation. So I'll pick up one more, uh, one more issue, one more statement. And that how I, does pot maker has clay pot in the clay? Yeah, that will help me to know the body has taken birth. We simply say, oh, parents have given me, you know, my parents are there. So we just take for granted that it's the parents, you know, who gave me the birth and that's all. What about your parents? His parent. What about his parent? Go, go back. What is the reason? So we are trying to find out by a simple example. Does pot maker has clay pot in the clay? There are three things. Pot maker, clay, clay pot. Real self, material world, human being. Now pot maker conceives the pot in the clay. Am I right? Pot maker conceives the pot in the clay, works and then creates the clay pot. Creates this body, clay pot. And the same pot maker does not like <laughs> to destroy this pot. Creates a new one. I'm putting a simple logic. So existence creates one part, which is known as Girish, then creates another. Creates one, creates another. But that real self, that clay remains the same. Are you getting it? Clay remains the same. What is that entity which constantly shows a different manifestations in the world? Real self plus? You should know. Real self plus in the visual consciousness. Real self plus world. Real self plus. That plus means reflection. Yourself remains one, doesn't she? We're not talking of Ukraine and Polo Russian war. Close your eyes. <laughs> Hi, sir. Close the 